Good evening, guys. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, and you? I'm fine. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you for asking. Hello, Vane. Hello, Jorge. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. How was the practice on the platform? So, so? Good? Excellent? It was good for me. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. William. Okay, eh, vamos a tomar dos minutitos para discutir sobre la plataforma. Eh, debemos seguir ya por quizás las, ustedes, bueno, deberían ir ya por la sección 4 o finalizando la 3 de la plataforma, entre la 3 y la 4. ¿Cómo vamos con el trabajo de la plataforma? Más o menos, siente muy difícil. Solo la 1, de hecho. Solo la 1. Ok. Jorge, solo la 1. O William, solo la 1. No, yo solo la 1. Ah, ok. <ríe> ok, ok. Entonces, eh, ¿por qué, Jorge? Se le se les está dificultando mucho. No, 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 no es que no. El tiempo. Es correcto, ya como estoy. Bueno, yo siempre he estado trabajando. Uh -huh. Ya somos todos. Ok. Es importante que vayamos completando la plataforma, chicos y sí, chicas. Les cuento por qué. Porque así vamos a poder ir avanzando en los módulos. Entonces, en la plataforma, si usted... La plataforma, si ustedes se fijan, les va dando un puntaje por las actividades que... Teacher, ¿y este módulo hasta cuándo se termina? Exactamente. Este módulo se termina el otro jueves. Entonces, prácticamente mm. nos quedan ocho días. Con, bueno, de que oh. quitando este, nos quedan siete horas. Entonces, son cuatro bueno. semanas, cinco secciones. Entonces, las secciones de, de la plataforma están creadas para que ustedes vayan haciendo entre una o una, una sección y media cada semana, por lo menos. ¿Verdad? Para que vayan adelantando. Para que la clase sea, sobre todo, de práctica. ¿Right? Entonces... Teacher, O sea que vamos a ir, porque son por puntos, ¿verdad? Son 1.8, 2. Uh -huh. Entonces ahorita tendríamos que ir por la 3 puntos y algo, más o menos. 3 puntos y algo, exacto. Así cuando ustedes vienen a la clase, que solo es una hora, y si se fijan no es tanto para practicar, hacemos cuatro, uh -huh. entre 3 o 5 ejercicios a lo mucho, entonces para hacerlo bien, ¿verdad? Porque podemos hacer 10, uh -huh. pero no van a salir bien. Entonces, hi, teacher. hi Lester, good night, good evening. Eh, el, la cosa está de que tenemos que ir adelantando. Así ustedes cuando empiece el, el módulo siguiente, ya en este caso principiante 4 sería, ¿verdad? Déjenme ver. Aquí es principiante módulo 3. No, o sea, sí, el principiante que le, que le sigue. Entonces ya, ya no tendrían ustedes que... que O sea, en cada clase ustedes ya van con más vocabulario y me pueden preguntar y podemos ir adelantando. ¿Está claro? Okay, ok. ¿Sí? Ok, ok. ¿Y, Entonces, y la sí. forma de, de evaluar, teacher? La evaluación. el siguiente módulo? La evaluación es la que vamos haciendo en la plataforma. El knowledge check. Uh, en, el, en, el, en el punto 3, sección 3, si más no recuerdo, es donde ustedes ¿Qué? van a tener un knowledge check. Ajá. Un, y tienen un midterm tienen un parcial ¿ya lo vieron? Ah, sí, yo, lo, yo más o menos vi hasta el final ok can you see uh, my computer? yes? sí, sí my yes. desktop ok, my yes, desktop teacher. ok, perfect uh -huh. you can see here let me see here you can see here it says section 3 esperamos empezar hoy right, o mañana más tardar at the end you have a midterm exam look Parcial. Right. And then, el parcial tiene una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco secciones. Mm -hmm. It, then we have section four, we have knowledge check, knowledge check, knowledge check. Until the end, in section five, we have a final test. Entonces, tenemos un parcial y un examen final que debe ser completado para la otra semana. Right. Entonces, ya deberíamos de ir un poquito adelantados en la plataforma. Right. Solo para que se pongan o sea, que las pilas de semana. ¿Mm? 
el otro jueves de la otra semana termina el módulo o este jueves. Exactly. No, the next one. Next week. Ah, we are going sí, to finish okay. next week. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, are we good with the, with the, with the platform? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Alguien que no, tenga, que no tenga acceso? ¿Alguien que no sepa cómo acceder a la plataforma? ¿Todos podemos acceder a la plataforma? Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, ok, yes, Lester, Marielos, Kenaxes, Felix, tú. Ok, los demás podemos acceder: Susan, Michelle, Mayra, Jorge sí, sí, dijo sí. que sí, William Hola, también. Teacher, sí. Ok, yes, perfecto. No yes. Ok, perfecto. Entonces vamos a ir adelantando, ok, para que no nos quedemos atrás y no, no nos puedes inscribirnos en el siguiente módulo. Right? Y sobre todo que llevemos las bases para la siguiente etapa. Eso es lo importante. So, last week I sent you the video on YouTube and I sent you a song for you to remember the parts of the body, right? So today I need you to practice with me, right? Let's see here. Can you see this little guy over here on the computer? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, so we, I'm going to say the numbers. We have here 12 people. Casi que nos queda uno por cada uno. Right? So you're going to tell me just one thing, but you're not supposed to repeat the information. Right? So just one. El que ya participó, vamos a dejarle el espacio al siguiente. Is that clear? So we go with... The, the words are here. You can see here. Arm, ear, elbow, eye, fingers, and so on. Right? So we're gonna have this, but we have the number one is hair, right? What do we have for number two? Let's see, one person. Mouth. Mouth. Mouth, okay. Thank you, Lester. Now, next person, another person, number three. Look at number three. Neck. Neck, okay, thank you, Marielos. Number four. Stomach. Stomach. Perfect, William. Number five. Finger. Finger, Jorge. Okay. Finger or fingers? Fingers. Fingers. Very good. Six. What is six? Look at this. Mm -hmm. Knee. Knee? It can be knee. Okay. But how you would you call also the knee is like in the middle, right? What is another option for this? What's the other option for the knee? Leg. It can be leg as well. Okay, very good. Porque no está como tan claro, verdad? What about number seven? Okay, Vane. What's number seven? Someone else? Loose. Yes, Felix? Tooth. Tooth. This one. Toes. Toes. Okay, very good. Toes. What about number eight? Eyes. Eyes, okay, perfect. Nine? Ear. Ear, very good. Ten? Not. Nose, okay, Not. nose. Nose, okay, perfect. Eleven? Teeth. Bill. Okay, teeth, very good. Very good. Twelve? Oh, okay. Teeth, it is, if it's just like many, right? Teeth. And tooth will be just one. Okay. Very good. We have two options here. Teeth or tooth. Number 12? Shoulder. Shoulder. Okay, it can be shoulder. But if I have this one over here, what is it? Me pueden ver? Elbow. No, this one right here. 
Back. 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 Okay. okay. Porque tampoco se entiende muy bien, ¿verdad? Shoulder. Back. Okay. Very good. We're going to put this one right here. Right here. Oh, sorry. Okay. What about 13? Elbow. 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 Okay. Very good. 14. Arm. Okay. Arm. Okay. Good. What about 15? Hand. Hand. Okay. Hand is one. Right? Hands. Right? Okay. And what about 16? But okay. And if I have two, how will you say that? Fit. Fit. Okay, very good. Very good. So I'm gonna send this picture. Right. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna send this picture to your WhatsApps, right? Because it's your work. Trabajo de ustedes. I will send it to your What's up right here? Vamos a comenzar para mientras les envío esto. A veces los que no se conectan me escriben cuando estamos en clase. Entonces yo solo veo los mensajes, pero no les puedo estar contestando. Ok, just letting you know. No es porque no les quiera contestar, sino que porque no les puedo estar contestando a media clase. Right? Ok. Aparte del comercial. Let's continue. Here. Okay, so here we have some parts of the body, right? We will continue working here with the practice. We have different parts of the body showing on the screen. Can you see it? Pueden verla? Yes, to sure. Yes, okay. Yes, Thank, you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, William. So let's see here. Look at the question that I'm asking. Is this, what's this? Vamos a adivinar porque tal vez alguno no lo hayamos visto. So what's this? That's the question. What's this? It's a shoulder, arm, or leg. What's the answer? Shoulder. It's a? Shoulder. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. What about next? What's this? It's a finger, it's an arm, or it's a leg? Miren la flecha? It's an arm. 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 Okay, it's an arm. Very good. Very good. Look at this. What's this? Finger, leg, or knee? It's a leg. Leg. It's a leg. Very yes. good. Very good. ¿Quién quiere practicar con las preguntas? Let's see. Mario. You ask the questions. What 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 is is this? Okay. What's this, guys? It's a neck. It's a neck. It's a neck. Okay, neck. Okay. Mario, continue. Mario les está preguntando. What's this? Neck. It's a head. It's a? Head. head. Okay, very good. Todos pilas, todos pilas. Right? What's this? It's a hand. It's, it's a, a hand. hand. Okay. It's not ankle, it's not foot. It's a hand. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mario. Okay, let's see here. Dennis. Okay, continue asking. What what's this? Uh -huh. Oh, it's, oh, that's the end. Oh, ya se terminó. Disculpe. So, here. We have parts of the body, right? And we're going to complete the sentences in pairs, right? It says complete the sentences. It says I have one so what can we say? I have one head, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have one head. Or I can say I have two. Two what? Two hands, for example. Mm -hmm. 
Two eyes. Two eyes. eyes. I have two eyes. Okay, very good. I have ten fingers. Right. Okay. Look at this. Right. I have. I have what? Legs. How many? I have two feet. Two feet. Okay, very good, Jose. I have two feet. And then we continue, right? We're going to practice then the parts of the body right now with these very, very simple sentences, right? Vamos a describir nuestro cuerpo utilizando estas oraciones simples y sencillas. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, so I'm going to send you this to your WhatsApp right now, and we're going to make groups. This is going to be very short. We're going to do it in like no more than five minutes, okay, so we can practice, right? So let's go ahead and see here. Are we ready? Yes? Estamos listos? Yes, yes. Okay, yes, very good. Teacher. Yes. Do you have the pictures? Well, the picture, one picture. Yes? Yes, I have. Yes, okay. I have. Very good. Okay, so yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's join the groups, please. Very good. Okay, let's go. Perfect. Jorge, please join your group. Jorge, are you there? Jorge. Okay. Sí, bueno. ¿Quién empieza si quieres con la pregunta o cómo sería? Quiero ver. You just, you, you are going to just share the information like I have one head, I have two shoulders, that's it, right? Mm -hmm. Just like we did in the picture, right? Okay. Okay, okay so I have please. One, one mouth, mm -hmm. I have two feet, I have ten fingers. Vayan alternándose para que practiquen los dos, okay? Sí, vamos a ver los cinco y cinco, vamos a decirlo. Okay, good. Bye bye. <laughs> I have. Do you have a question, girls? Mayra, Susan? No. Are you sure? Creo que no me escucha. Eh, sí, que, no sé si. No sé si a mí no me escucha Susan o. o dice, que no la, dice que no la escucha. Ahora sí. Ahora sí la escucho. Yo sí ah, la, la escucho voy a, a ella, la, pero ella creo que no me escucha a mí. Oh, I see. Well, let me see here. I'm going to move. Le voy a mandar a Karen para que practique con ustedes, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Ok. Karen is coming. Hi, Karen. Hi, teacher. ¿Usted estaba solita en el otro grupo? Sí, estaba solita. Hola, hola, estoy leyendo. Te escucho ahorita en esta. Ok, go ahead. Me, Practice, me please. Escucha. Sí, 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 escucho ahorita, sí, escucho. Hola, sí. Ah, ok. Sí, no wow. the, the toes are like a uh, finger, but the foot. In the foot. Uh -huh. In the foot, right. Uh -huh. That's a oh. strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have two tongue. Pulgares, sería tongue. Exactly. Ah, toms. okay, okay. Tongues. Uh -huh. Ah, yes. Yes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I, yeah. mm -hmm. I have a huh? two finger ring. Two what? Finger ring. Two uh -huh. finger ring. 
two but finger the, rings. Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like uh -huh. when you when you're married or something, right? You you yeah. use these things right here. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> nice, <man. laughs> I okay. have one chest. One chest. Uh huh. Uh, and you? ¿El qué, perdón? Pecho. Uh, chest. I have. I, I have one chest. Perfect. Uh, I have one neck. Mm -hmm. I have... Um, Two leg. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Continue. I have one nose. I have. I have. Uh huh. What do you have? I have foot. How many? One, two, three. Two foot. Two, two foot. feet. Two, two feet. feet. Exactly. Two feet. And I have two cheeks. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. The I ones have... that show you, you have a lot of foot. Mm -hmm. Oh, Good. okay. 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 Continue. I have two brown. <laughs> What? And I have two How do you arms. say frente? Oh, forehead. 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 I'm going to put it on Four the chat. Forehead. 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 Look at mine. Ah, it's big. Forehead. 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 Okay. Good. I have a... <laughs> um, mm -hmm. For hell is Sí, porque es algo que tenemos que tener entendido porque porque se dice fingers y toes. Hay que usar la, la mis para que nos, nos aclare la duda. Yes. What's your question? No, tenemos la consulta que por qué lo, se llaman distintos los dedos de los de las manos con los de los pies, que son fingers and toes. Ah, que viene. ¿A qué viene? Uh -huh. Ah, viene a la creación del idioma inglés. Y podemos empezar allá por, ¿qué? Hablando de las raíces del idioma. <risa> Pero sí, nos vamos, a quedar, nos vamos a quedar con que esa es la forma que se escriben y, y no hay ninguna como una regla específica. Sino que prácticamente cada una de las palabras en inglés tiene su creación o su origen etimológico. Entonces, Teacher, ¿y por qué no se puede decir finger toes? No, porque toes uh -huh. es solo dedos de los pies. O como... Solo es deditos de los pies, exacto. Dedos de los pies. Sería fingers, finger foot. Foot. Uh -huh. O feet. Uh -huh. No, fingers here. Y los toes son los toes, los dedos de los pies. Entonces, sí tienen un nombre uh -huh. totalmente distinto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, es como que, que diga, por ejemplo, la mayoría eh, para las... Eh, usted dice foot is just one, right? But if you have two, it's feet. Entonces, si usted se fija, hay varias, varias palabras, pero no todas. Varias palabras en inglés que cuando queremos decir el plural y tenemos una palabra que tiene dos O, right? Como foot, por ejemplo, uh -huh. y la queremos hacer plural, decimos fit, right? O por ejemplo, algo totalmente distinto al tema. Goose. Y decimos luego kiss. Right? ¿Cuáles son los gooses? Los, los, ¿cómo se llaman? Los cisnes o ganso. Exactly. No. Very good. Very good. Entonces, miren, la estructura, <coughs> perdón, es bien parecida. ¿Por qué se dice eh, fingers y por qué se dice toes? Es por su raíz etimológica. Perfecto. De las palabras. Así como que haya algún truco, hechicería, no. No, ¿ok? 
Good. It's just a word that you need to learn. Okay? Very okay. good. Okay. More Thank questions? You. You're welcome. More no, questions? teacher. No. no. Okay. Perfect. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Drought. 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 Throat. Very good. Throat. Throat. Wait, what is this? Throat. 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 What is this meaning? Throat. Look Garganta. at me. Garganta. Ah, okay. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? No? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so we're going to practice, but in this case, we're going to use the same structure that we just used. I have one, I have two, I have three, and then we continue. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. In the case of hair, hair. Eh, es, es, pero es singular or plural? O sea, hair is refiere a un cabello or a todo el... It's everything. Or... It's everything, but it's not plural and it's not singular. It's non-countable noun. It's un, un noun que no se puede contar. Because it will be difficult to count one by one. Right? One, two, three. So we say hair. So we can say, I have hair. That's it. Right? Okay. Porque es un, es un sustantivo, es un nombre en inglés. It's a noun that we cannot count. No lo podemos contar. Si so vamos a tener varios nouns que no podemos contar en el cuerpo, Tenemos este ejemplo, hair. She said, I have hair or I have no hair. Right. So we can say oh, that. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I can't say I have many hair. No, you can. That's wrong. That is incorrect. Exactly, that is incorrect. Because okay. many, it helps you to count. Many se utiliza para contar. You can say, I have a lot of hair, right? Wow. And you have a lot. I have a lot of hair, or I don't have a lot of hair. No, sure. mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. Eh, para lo, la cuestión quería preguntar para lo de los hombros mm -hmm. es, I have two shoulders or I have two shoulders? I have two shoulders. Siempre con ese sería. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Two shoulders. The only ones that we're not going to put S is foot, feet, tooth, and teeth. Eso no llevan S al final. Shoulders, fingers, right? If let's suppose you have two heads, I have two heads. Tengo dos cabezas, right? Right. Hi, Samuel, don't worry. Okay. So we're going to practice right now. In my computer, I can see right now Mario, Jose, Vane, and so on, right? So we're going to start and we're going to give one example, right? But we cannot repeat the examples, okay? We cannot repeat the examples. So we need to be very careful with that. We cannot repeat the examples. We're going to work here one by one and then we'll start. So I will say, I have. 10 fingers. Can you see the screen right now? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, I think we have more people here. Right? Okay, very good. So I can see the first one here is Mario, right? Then we continue with William, Jose, until we get to Dennis. Right, maybe. So okay. Mario, you start. What? La pantalla solo se ve el explorador. Really? <laughs> ah. Today is not my day. 
Hoy no me está cooperando la computadora. Ok. But Mario, you can give your example. For example, I have two fingers. Right? Or I have ten fingers. Can you see it now? ¿Ya lo pueden ver? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. So my, my example is I have ten fingers. What's yours, Mario? What's your example? I have one hand. Okay, perfect. Let's continue here. Uh, William. I have one hip. One hip. Okay, very good. Let's continue, Lester. I have two eyes. Oh, okay, very good. Okay, wait, wait, wait. One by one. One by one, okay? Uh, let's continue, Ana Marielos. I have an eyelash. Okay. I have eyelashes, one or two? Mm, e, mm, two. Um, okay. Two eyelashes? Two eyelash. Eyelashes. Eyelashes. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank Very you. Very good. Dennis. I have one stomach. Okay. You have one stomach? Okay. One stomach. Samuel? I have two, my hands. Two hands, okay, very good. Okay, very good. Oh, but Mario said that. Ya, di, ya lo dijo Mario, veamos otro. I have two heads. Two heads? Two heads. Okay, are you sure? <laughs> the human only has one head. Si no, ya me dio miedo. Puede I ser have... One head. I have one head. <laughs> one head. Okay, yeah. Johnny, let's go. Okay. Johnny. I have two hair. Two hairs. Mm -hmm. Just two? No, I have. How do you say? Uh, I have hair. Orejas. Ah, uh, what do you say? Ear. Ear. Very good. Ear. 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 Okay, one more time, Johnny. I have two A's. No, just one by one, Samuel. No se me emocione. Felix? I have two feet. I have two feet. Jorge? I had two chips. Two chips, okay, very good. Josue? I have I have two eyes. Two eyes, okay, very good. Karen? I have two eyebrows. Two eyebrows, eyebrows, okay, mm -hmm. very good. Eyebrows. And Mayra? I, I have two elbows. I have two elbows. Okay, very good. Very good. And then, Michelle. I have ten nails in my hand. Oh, okay, very good. Nails. Look at this. These are the nails. Yo casi no tengo. Nails. Okay, very good. And then, let's see, Vanny. I have one back. I have one back. Okay, very good. And Susan, the last one. I have 10 fingers in my hands. I have 10 fingers in my hands. Okay, my hands. Dígalo plural. Si no va a ser 10 en una sola mano. Right? That would be weird. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. So, do we remember the parts of the body now? Yes? So, so? We are going to use... We are going to use the parts of the body to talk about a different topic, right? To talk about what's the matter or what's the illness that we have, right? For that, we're going to see a small conversation right now. Can you see the, the screen? Conversation, yes. I don't feel well. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. So we have a conversation here. It says, I don't feel well. Like, I feel sick, 
Ahí me siento mal. I don't feel well. Right? And says pay attention to the pronunciation and intonation. So we have two people here. Two boys. Right? Steve and Kyle. Right? So listen to the conversation because we're going to work in pairs. Right? So we have, hi, Kyle. How's it going? Oh, hi, Steve. Not so well. Actually, I don't feel well. What's the matter? Hey, you don't look so good. I have a stomachache. That's too bad. Do you have the flu? No, I just feel really sick. Well, do you want anything? A glass of soda? No, but thanks anyway. Well, I'm going to have some pizza. Is that okay? Right? That's the conversation that we're going to have, right? So we're going to do that in pairs. Let's see here. I would like to have uh, Vani and Marielos. Okay. Vani, you're going okay. to be Steven and Marielos, you're going to be Kyle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kyle. How is it going? Oh, hi, Steve. No, not so well. Actually, I don't feel well. What's the matter? Hey, you don't look so good. I have a stomach ache. That's too bad. Do you have the flu? No, I just feel really sick. Well, do you want anything? A glass of, of soda? No, but thanks anyway. Well, I'm, I am going to have some pizza. Is that okay? Is that okay? Very good, very good. So we're going to do the same, but we're going to do that for no more than five minutes. We're going to practice in pairs, right? And it's going to be very easy, right? Just a conversation that is telling us that we don't feel okay, right? Esta es una forma de decir que no nos sentimos bien y que estamos diciéndole a alguien que necesita, qué es lo que necesitamos o que no necesitamos. Right? So we're going to practice in pairs for no more than three minutes. Let's see here. One second. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go to the groups. Dennis, please join the group. Necesito que se una grupo ya, Dennis. Let's go. Josué, Mayra, let's go. Mario, Michelle, Johnny, Susan, Samuel, please join the groups. Susan, okay. <coughs> Hello. Hi. Are we oh. practicing right now? Yes. Okay. Do you have the picture? Yes. Okay. I want to listen to you. Okay. Yes, I am Steve. Hi, Kai. How is it going? Oh, hi, Steven. Not so well. Actually, I don't feel well. What's the matter? Hey, you don't look so you, you don't look so good. I have a stomach ache. That's too bad. Do you have the flu? No, I just feel really sick. Well, do you want anything? A glass of soda? No, but thanks anyway. Well. Are you alone? Yes. <gasps> oh, why? Michelle is supposed to be with you. That's so weird. Michelle? 
Me parece que Michelle está aquí con usted. No, so I'm, no, no. I'm going to send you with another group, okay? Really quick. Okay. 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 Hi, Kyle. How's it going? Oh, hi, Steve. Not so well. Actually, I don't feel well. What's the matter? Hey, you don't look so good. I have a stomachache. That's too bad. Do you have the flu? No, I just feel really sick. Well, do you want anything? A gas or soda? No, but... This is so weird. Okay. <laughs> okay, comienza tú. Hey, bye. Hi, Carl. How is going? Oh, hi, Steve. Not so well. Actually, I don't feel well. What's the matter? Hey, you don't look so good. I have some stomachache. That's too bad. Do you have the flu? No, I just feel really sick. Well, do you want anything, a glass of soda? No, but thanks anyway. Well, I'm going to have some pizza. Is that okay? Okay, okay. Very good job. Very good job. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Michelle, are you there? Yes. ¿Qué le pasó a Michelle? No la vi en ningún grupo. No, lo que pasa es que estaba solita. No, si usted estaba con Mario. No, estaba en el, en el grupo 3, me había puesto y estaba solita. Yo llegué ahí, no había nadie. No, sí, he estado mis. En serio. <risa> o sea, me piqué yo solita, pero ajá, porque le di entrar, pero estaba en el grupo 3. Por eso me extrañó que tal vez se olvidó de mí. No, Mario no, no, estaba no. con Mario. Mario no la veía tampoco. ¿Verdad, Mario, que no la veía? No, no, no me parecía. Ni a mí me parecía. No, pero no, no me ha salido mi hija. Aquí he estado. A saber qué ha hecho. Nada más. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. Who wants to participate? Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, William. Another person. Thank you, Samuel. Okay. William and Samuel. Okay. Very good. okay. So you have there the conversation. I have it here. Uh, William, you are Steve, and Samuel, you are Kyle. Okay. Hi, Kyle. How it's going? Okay. Hi, Kyle. How's it going? Oh, hi, Steve. Not so well, actually. I don't feel well. What's the matter? Hey, you don't look so good. What's the matter? Hey, you don't look so good. No, you're Kyle, Samuel. You're Kyle. Uh, I have a, a stomach. That's too bad. Do you have the flu? No, I just feel really sick. Well, do you want anything? A glass of soda? No, but thanks anyway. Well, I'm going to have some pizza. Is that okay? Okay, very good. Okay. Very good. So I need two more people. Who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Nobody? Me. Oh, then then is your teacher. I have a question, teacher. Yes. Okay. How do you say uh, stomach? Stomach cake. Stomach. Stomach. Stomach cake. 
Okay. Uh, remember how do you call your belly? Stomach, right? The stomach. And this other word is pronounced ache. Ache. So you have stomach. Okay. Stomach ache. A stomach ache. Very good. And then you have head. Yeah, okay. Plus this headache. word, headache. Very good. Headache. Exactly. That's what you have to do. Very good. So let's Thank see. You, teacher. You're welcome. So I have Dennis and Karen. Okay, very good. Dennis, you're Steve, and Karen, you're Kyle. Okay. okay. Hi, Kyle. How is it going? Oh, hi, Steve. Not so well. Actually, I don't feel well. What's the matter? Hey, you don't look so good. I have a stomach. That's too bad. Do you have the flu? No, I just feel really sick. Well, do you want anything? A glass of soda? Mm, no, but thanks anyway. Well, I'm going to have some pizza. Is that okay? Very good, very good. Perfect. So if you see here, Thank you. Well, you're welcome. We're practicing right now a conversation when we don't feel well. When we don't feel well, it's because we're feeling ill. Look at this, this phrase, feeling Teacher. ill. Yes, Lester. Uh, I have a, a question. Yes. Um, when, ¿En qué parte o, o en qué momento o cuándo aplica más, más bien el hecho de utilizar el ache cuando algo me duele, como stomach ache, eh, stomach headache? Stomach ache, headache, backache. We're going to see that vocabulary now, okay? We're oh, going to see okay. that right now. Yes, yeah, so we're practicing right now because we're feeling ill. What is the meaning of feeling ill? Look at the pictures. Feeling ill. What do you Ill. think is the meaning? Look at this. Está enfermos. Exactly. Very good. Very good. So look at this. Feeling ill. Right? We don't feel okay. Right? That's why we say, what's the matter? I'm feeling ill. Right? So we have the question here. And for this, we have these, these like <clears throat> questions that we can make. Right? Look at this right now. So I have, if I, for example, if I ask the question or I want to say, sorry, put this right here, right? I have these questions. What's the matter? Or what's wrong? They, they have the same meaning, right? If I have a, that question, I want to answer this. I have a headache, for example. Right, so that will be subject plus have plus the illness, right? Enfermedad, right? Subject plus have plus the illness. So that will be subject, right? Plus have plus the illness. That in this case will be a noun. So I will be combining this with this. Is that clear? So I can say eh, I have a headache, or I can also say I have a I have a flu, right? That will be a noun, right? But we are going to answer this question: What's the matter, right? And then when you're telling the people how do you feel, right? You're going to ask the questions like this: How are you? How do you feel, right? Si usted tiene un dolor de cabeza, quiere decir también cómo se siente, ¿verdad? Right? I have a headache. Oh, how do you feel? I feel terrible. So for this, I will have subject plus feel plus the adjective, right? Which is the same right here, right? So I can ask you, what's the matter? I have a cold. Like, or your, that your nose is running, right? I have the call. How do you feel? I feel horrible, right? That's another adjective. I feel horrible. Otro adjetivo que podemos usar. 
o qué tal que estos adjetivos que vamos a usar son adjetivos que nos dicen los cómo nos sentimos, pero de una manera, digámoslo, negativa. Right? That's what we're going to do. Because you cannot say, oh, I have a headache. How do you feel? I feel happy. Is that correct? No, right? O se siente no. feliz cuando le duele la cabeza. No, I don't. Right? <laughs> so if, you, if I tell you, right, how do you feel, like, or what's wrong, I have a call, right? So I have these examples, right? Look at the words, right? For, a, for example, I have a backache, an earache, a headache, stomachache, a toothache, a call, a cough, a fever, the flu, dry eyes, and a sore throat, right? These are illnesses, right? These are things that we want to uh, practice. Está compartiendo, está compartiendo yes. La yes, can you see it? No. No, teacher. No, I can't. What about now? Right now, yes. Okay, so we have here, right? When we have these ones right here, a backache, an earache, headache, a stomachache, right? A toothache, a cold, a cough, a fever, the flu, dry eyes, a sore throat, right? If you pay attention to this, you can see, for example, most of them, we have the word ache, right? But here we have, for example, back ache, right? Back ache. I have a back ache, right? Or I have an ear ache. Can you see that? Yes? Pueden ver eso, que en la mayoría de estas enfermedades, a veces yes, cuando teacher. tenemos un dolor, solamente utilizamos ache, right? And the parts of the body, right? I have a okay. toothache. I have a stomachache, right? Or we have others like this one's right here. A cold, a cough, a fever, the flu, dry eyes and sore throat, right? Do you understand this vocabulary with the pictures? Yes. Yes? I, yes, teacher. Do you have a question about the vocabulary? Not what sure. is the meaning the flu? What can you see the meaning here? Look at this. I'm going to show you Google and you tell me. Para, no, para evitar traducírselos. Right? Look at the picture. Right? Here. Okay, look at the picture. The person or the boy is in the bed. Right? And then we have the flu. Right. Look at the flu. What is the flu? What is the flu here? Temperatura, fiebre. Kind of. Very similar. Good, Mario. Good. Look at this. Rip it. Yes, very good. Very good. The flu is very, very similar. Is sometimes you confuse the flu with the coronavirus, for example. That's another illness, right? Because they are very similar. Look at this picture, right? You have like this, you have gripe, right? That's the flu. Okay, very good. Another word? A uh, sore throat. A sore throat. For example, Teachers, all the time, they have sore throats because sore they throat. speak too much, right? A sore throat. Look at this. Right? That your throat hurts, right? Look at this. Okay. Yeah. A, <clears throat> right? That sore throat. It hurts. You cannot speak when you have a sore throat. 
Right. Vendría siendo como una infección. O... Yes, yes, pretty much. O se refiere al dolor. It's, it's both, because when you have an infection, you feel pain. Cuando tiene una infección, tiene un dolor. Right? So pretty much is the same. Right? So look at this. We have, the, can you see the pictures? Can you yes. see the pictures? Yes? yes? Okay, yes. very good. So we have here the question, what's the matter? What's another example of this question? What's How wrong? you feel? No. What's wrong? What's wrong? Very good. What's wrong? How do you feel is after, right? So you say, what's wrong? Or what's the matter? And then I have the part of the body, right? With the illness, right? Backache. That's the word, backache. So back. what's the complete answer? What's the matter? I have a backache. I have right? a backache. Okay, very good. So let's continue. What about this one? What's the matter? I have a toothache. Very good, very good. I have a toothache, very good. Let's see one more. Very good. Toothache, very good. This, this pronunciation is going to be difficult, right? So we need to practice, 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 okay? But good job, right? I have a toothache, very good. What about this? Look at the picture. What's the matter? What's the matter? I have a... I have a... Uh, I have an earache. 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 I have an earache. Very good. Earache. I have an earache. Very good. Very good. And let's see another one. What's the matter? What's the matter? A headache. Headache. Okay. I have a headache. 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 Okay. Headache. I have a headache. You see, headache. very easy, right? Very, very easy. Let's see another one. What's the matter? Stomach. I have a stomach I have a stomach cake. I have a stomach cake. I have a stomach cake. Very good. This oh. word, we're going to use it together. Okay, together, stomach cake. Aquí se me fue la paz. Stomach cake, right? Okay. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Mm -hmm. Let's see this one. What do you think it is? What's the illness? Coronavirus. <laughs> I have a flu. Flu. Okay. Flu. Okay. A cold or a flu or coronavirus. Okay, good. <laughs> What's the matter? A cold. Flu. Uh -huh. So what's the complete answer? I have a flu. I have the flu. I have a cold. I have the coronavirus. Okay, no. Okay, this one. Okay, okay. Good. Right? So, see? Two different answers, right? Two different answers. Very good. So do we understand what we're doing here? Yes. yes. Uh, okay. Yes. yes? Este. Yes, Entiendo teacher. yo que cuando nos duele una parte del cuerpo, uh -huh. agregamos ache al final. Usually, usually, usually. not all the time, uh, usually, okay. right? Usually, okay. because sometimes we just say the illness, for example, a cold, uh, the flu, uh -huh. right? A, a sore throat, right? So usually we say ache, but sometimes we say the, the, the actual illness, right? Uh -huh. So those are example, options too. If I, si tengo una, por ejemplo, oh, dolor en la rodilla, uh -huh. entonces ahí se agregó el ache. Not all the time. Not all oh, the time. Not all the time, oh, okay. Not all the time. Okay, okay. Sometimes you say, my knee hurts. My mm. knee hurts, like this. Okay. My knee hurts. Look at the, look at the chat. Okay, my knee my hurts. Knee Me duele ah, la rodilla. Okay. okay. So it will depend. Remember that in ah. English we have a variety of vocabulary that we can use. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. So here, what we're going to do, guys, is that we need to practice because we need to work with uh, 
other, well, more vocabulary, right? More vocabulary here. But uh, I'm just going to repeat what I said at the, at the beginning, porque ya son las 10, so you mean, right? Uh, what are we going to do, right? Disculpen, le voy a quitar dos minutitos. Recordémonos de trabajar en la plataforma para los que no se conectaron a las 9. Hay que trabajar en la plataforma como les mandé en el chat adelantar, trabajar, así cuando venimos a la clase ya entendemos un poquito y si es posible más de lo que se está dando en la clase para solo venir a practicar. ¿Okay? Por ejemplo, el vocabulario ya lo traemos en mente, no lo vamos a saber pronunciar perfectamente ni lo vamos a terminar de pronunciar perfectamente al final de la clase, pero lo queremos practicar. Right? Or that we don't understand the vocabulary. Si no lo entendemos, lo practicamos en la clase y no sé exactamente qué significa esto, qué quiere decir, pero en la clase tenemos la oportunidad de preguntar, right? Or to practice. Ok, yo ya me lo puedo, pero necesito practicar e interactuar con alguien más. Porque recuérdense que solo, so, solo es una hora, cuatro horas a la semana y no, en buen salvadoreño, no ajusta, right? So I need you to practice. Ya para la otra semana, jueves, terminamos con el módulo. Quiere decir que para el jueves ya tendrían que haber terminado el midterm y el final test, que son las evaluaciones, que están en la sección 3 y en la sección 5. En la sección 3 al final tienen el parcial y en la sección 5 tienen el, el examen final. ¿Es that clear? Yes, teacher. Ok, teacher. ¿Do you have a question about that? No yet. No yet, ok. ¿The others? No yet, teacher. No yet, ok, very good. Any question for today's class? ¿Alguna pregunta antes que se vaya? ¿Algo que tengan duda? Para mañana vamos a practicar más. Ya tenemos la práctica de toda la semana, pero necesito que vayan adelantando ustedes también. ¿Ok? Or that you bring questions. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta que se les haya quedado la semana pasada? No. ¿No? ¿Are you sure? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Ok. So I will let you go, ya son las 15, les quité cuatro minutitos solamente, right? Okay, so I will let you go, please practice on the platform, complete the activities, right, that you have there, and have a beautiful night, okay? Have a beautiful okay. night, Thank you. guys. You too. Good night, Bye. teacher. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.